Hello. How is it going today? Happy Friday, y'all. Thanks so much for being here. I'm in the studio today and it feels good to be in the studio. But I wish that I was in the studio with all of you. That would be a joy. Let me know if you can hear me. I just like to check. Maybe just a quick chat to let me know. Perfect. How about Erica? Thank you. Can you hear me from here? Is this a good sound level? Yay? Nay? Maybe? A bit echoey. Yeah, um, I usually have a chord that helps out with that. But um, I forgot it. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Thanks for the affirmation. Um, I'll be mindful of my, my uh, volume and not shouting too much. Maybe if I close the door. My name is Kimberly. If this is your first time practicing with me, hello. Let's start by coming into a nice seat. We'll start with a little pranayam to start our class today. So sitting up tall and smart. I say to the kids, sit up tall and smart. It's just a good reminder that we all are smart when we want to be. And then first just start to bow your head side to side. Just check in uh, really quickly with uh, the head, the neck, the shoulders. See that you can relax your shoulders down and back, not really holding in the shoulders. We have this tendency to kind of tense up in this region. So just allow your head to just drop side to side here and take just some inventory where you're at. And then maybe some circles forward from side to side. And then come back into a center space and notice where your breath is. You can close your eyes or soften the gaze forward. Taking a collective breath together here, nice full breath in and breathe out. <sighs> Allowing yourself to settle into your space. Take a nice full breath in through the nose and breathe out. <sighs> Again, nice full breath in. And add a little bit of sound on this exhale. <sighs> Maybe a sigh. You can do this as many times as you need to to allow your body and mind to arrive in this space. And then make any adjustments or allow your body to move to really tune into this sense of body sensation. So the sense of feeling internally, externally, where you are today. Maybe even check in, how do I feel right now? Maybe it's the first time today that you've checked in with yourself and meet yourself wherever you are without attachment, without judgment, because you showed up for yourself right now. Tonight, we'll, today, we'll work on this uh, reminder, reminding ourselves of this internal guidance system, right? Whether you travel through the chakra systems with me today, or you just feel the sensations, 
find your intention for your practice. How do you want to show up for it? And if you've been with me before in this practice, I like to set an intention, not only for myself, but also for the collective, because I truly believe that's what, what is truly and genuinely good for me is good for all. So envision yourself sitting in circle with other members of your community, of your family, or even your regular yoga yogis and envision this collectivity of breath, this collectivity of connection, breathing together. Bring awareness to your feet and your pelvis. Breathing in and up. And as you exhale, send again the awareness in and down. Bring a smile to your lips, bring a smile to your eyes, smiling into the heart. and slowly blink open your eyes. Beautiful, starting with Kabbalah Bhakti breath. So this is that forceful breath out through the nose. It may be helpful to find a tissue or um, a handkerchief. You may have some physical cleansing as well as this sense of skull cleansing the skull. They, they, they interpret this as a skull cleansing breath. So it's a forceful exhale out through the nose and the lips are softly together and you're not necessarily inhaling intentionally, but through the force of exhaling, a natural inhale does arrive. So if you're on your moon cycle, you're trying to conceive or you're pregnant, just take this slow and mindful, bringing even a hand to the low belly and just check in, is this right for me? Make this practice your own. Sitting up, nice, taking a nice full breath in together. Exhale, maybe a quarter way of the breath and then begin pumping through the nose. Continue pumping this breath, whether it be fast or slow, closing the eyes and internally gaze towards the third eye. The space between the brow, continue with your breath. Keep going for another 10 seconds. Bring awareness, not only to the gaze between the brows, but also the sensation in the feet and the pelvis. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale the breath all the way out through the nose. Hold the breath out if that's available to you. Draw the navel in, pelvic floor lifts, Mula Bandha action. Sitting up taller, tuck the chin in slightly, reaching through the crown of the head. When you're ready, slow inhale. Again, if it's available to you, hold the breath in at the top of the inhale, suspend the breath. Again, drawing the navel in, pelvic floor lifts. And then when you need to, very slow exhale out through the nose. Allow yourself to return to a normal regulated breath. Inhale to exhale without any force or form here. Mm -hmm. 
Beautiful, slowly open the eyes. Make your way into a standing position. And then just check in with the feet here, lift and spread the toes. Placing the toes down, lift and spread, or lift the heels up. Feel your sense of balance wherever you are and kind of just rock back and forth toes to heel. And standing up tall in mountain pose, go ahead and lean over to right foot. Maybe even lifting this left foot just a little bit off the ground. Come back through to center, leaning over to the left. Again, sensing where you're at. This is all kind of just a check in a body scan of so it's come back through to center. Pressing through all four corners of the feet. Inhale the arms forward and up. You can even lift up the heels if it's available to you. And then as you exhale, arms out and down. Heels lower down, beautiful. We're gonna alternate here. Inhale, arms out and up. Lifting the heels. Exhale the arms down, in and down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale out and down. You can keep the heels grounded at any time. Inhale out. Maybe lift the gaze this time. Exhale in and down. Two more just like that. Now as you rise. Last time here, inhale, rise up. Inhale out. Exhale down. Bring your hands to your thighs here and maybe even the heel to the crease of the hip. Bend into a little bit of a Utkatasana or chair pose, and then start to move through a little standing cat cow. So inhale, the heart comes forward, almost flaring out the tailbone. And then as you exhale, round and scoop. Tucking the chin in, inhale as you round. The spine, curvy spine, exhale, cat. Any moving, but feeling the feet really grounded down through the feet. So not only are we working with the spine in this movement, but also the sense of ground. Hands go wherever it feels comfortable for you. Inhale and exhale. Two more like that. Slowly rise up, bringing your hands to heart space. Close the eyes for a moment and check in. Check in with your inhale. Follow the inhale into the exhale. Beautiful. Go ahead and grab blocks if you need to or a book or anything that elevates you if it's um, the, the ground is a little farther for you to reach. And coming to the top of the mat, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your palms together. I know I'm, the, I'm off screen a bit, but bring them to the center of the forehead, to the heart space, and as you fold forward. Step your right foot back to a deep lunge and drop your right knee down. This is where the blocks can come into play. And we'll just start to move in and out of a low lunge. So you can use the blocks, helps to kind of deepen into the pose a little bit. Inhale into a low lunge. Exhale, straighten the front leg, send the hips back, but keep these hips squared to the top of the mat. Inhale into lunge. 
exhale, straighten this front leg. Make any adjustments that you need to with that back leg. Maybe it's too far behind. Maybe you need to walk it forward. Inhale, low lunge. Make sure this knee stays over the ankle so it's not too far forward. Keep it right over. Exhale, send the hips back. Press through the big toe mound on the front foot. Continue moving with your breath. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, square the hips up, send them back. Beautiful. The back heel can be lifted or maybe lowered, but move with your breath. Got about six here, I believe. I'm always bad at counting. We'll do about 10 total. Two more with your breath, make it your own. Beautiful, on this inhale, into the low lunge. You can drop that back knee down if you'd like, or keep it lifted. Inhale the arms up, and then as you exhale, twist over the bent leg into a little bit of a twist here. Beautiful, we'll stay here for three breaths. Again, this back knee can be lowered or lifted. Find that low belly breath in and up. And as you exhale, send the breath and awareness in and down. One more nice full breath here. Maybe gaze towards that back hand. Inhale, swing that arm forward and up. Exhale, bring the palms down. Step through to tabletop. Beautiful palms planted here. And just sway the hips side to side, maybe even make some figure eight shapes. Move intuitively. For energy, I think it's where attention goes, prana or energy flows. Balance this direction, switch direction. And then come back on an inhale, bring the heart forward, tailbone lifts, nice little cow. And then as you exhale, send the hips all the way back towards the heels in a child's pose. You can even tight the front fingers, really stretch through the side bodies. Inhale, pull forward, heart lifts, tailbone lifts. Exhale, round through the back body. Sink the hips back as far as you can towards the heels. Continue this dynamic movement with the breath. Inhale forward. Exhale round and send the hips all the way back toward the heels. Two more. Inhale round or bring the heart forward. Inhale we'll lift. Exhale round. Send them back. Last one. Inhale, slowly come forward. Beautiful. Lifting up to your first downward facing dog. Walk the dog. Take a couple breaths here. Spread the legs as wide as the mat and bend the knees as you slowly walk the hands back to a forward fold. Shake out the head. Shake out the shoulders. Shake out the face, the cheeks, the cheeks. Bend in the knees, inhale, swing the arms forward and up. As you rise, that was a little too fast. <laughs> Bring the hands down through heart center. I was trying to swing my hair up too. Bring the feet closer together and then pretend there's a tightrope on your mat. I like to be a little playful in the class. Bring one foot in front of the other, heel to toe, as you walk to the top of your mat. Again, this form of checking in, also bringing the awareness into our feet. Some say the farthest place from the mind to get into the body. Stepping to the top of the back, we'll switch sides. So my first side was my left. Now we'll switch to the right leg. Got the top of the mat, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. 
Step your left foot back to a runner's lunge. Now, if you drop your back knee down on the last side, do the same. Or keep it lifted, moving in and out for runner's lunge as you straighten the leg on your exhale, press through the big toe on the front foot, square the hips up, and move with your breath. Inhale and exhale. Blocks are always available, or I shouldn't say always available, but any kind of support systems that you have in place for your practice just helps to modify the practice to make it your own. We'll do 10 total on this side. Move with your breath. Keep pressing through the front foot. Keep the awareness in and down. Tuning into this internal guidance system. It's always with us, this tool for navigating the sensation, the aliveness in our body. Two more. Inhale into this deep lunge here. We're going to come up for a twist. Arms swing up. And then exhale as you twist over the bent knee. Draw the navel in and up like it's an eyeball. And the eyeball's twisting from the midsection to the side. Three breaths here. Maybe gazing towards that back hand. Nice full breath in. Exhale, stay. Inhale, swing this back hand forward and breath. Exhale, arms down. Step forward to forward fold. Beautiful. I'm going to change my, my step now. Step back to downward facing dog. Take a nice full breath here. Even scoop the low belly if you can. Exhale, stay, sink the heels down to the mat. Beautiful. Inhale, drop the knees into tabletop. And moving in and out of child's pose, that dynamic flow movement. Inhale, heart forward, table lifts. Exhale, round and send the hips all the way back towards the heels, as far back as you can send the heels so you can stretch through those side bodies. Keep moving with the breath. We'll do a total of four or five, whatever feels right, make it your own. Inhale, rise up. Now in your tabletop position, walk to your hands off to the right. Keep about a palm's distance between the two. Knees stay static. And then from here, you're going to send the hips all the way back towards, so my hands are off to the right, my heels, or my hips are going back towards my left heel, so that I'm stretching this side body, these intercostal muscles, breathing into the left lung. And you keep the head lifted, but it feels really good to drop the head heavy. And even press a little bit more into the left hand here. Okay, about three mindful, intentional breaths here. On this next inhale, pull yourself up, forward, very slowly and intentionally move your hands back to center, tabletop, and pause, gaze down, 
Find that neutral spine and find a mindful breath. Notice what's here, what's landed. Maybe even notice where the breath is at now. And then walk the hands off to the left. Keep a palms distance between the hands. And then as you're ready, send your hips back towards the right heel, pressing a little bit more into the right palm. Drop the forehead down, keep it lifted, maybe even gaze under the arm. Inhale, slowly rise up. Walk the hands intentionally back through the center. Pause here for a nice breath. And then either sit back on the heels or walk the knees forward. Bring any kind of support system underneath your seat here in hero pose or kneeling pose. And pause. Feeling the spine lifted. Stay here for just a few minutes, bringing the hands to, um, actually we'll start with wrist rolls. Really like kind of getting into these deeper tissues through the hands, the wrists, and then do three outward and three inward. Beautiful. Bring the palms to the shoulders, thumbs on the back, four fingers forward, and start to roll very slowly the elbows onto the back. Towards the back. We'll do three total, very slow and intentional. And then start to roll the elbows or orbit the elbows, if for that there of a better term, forward. Beautiful, drop the arms down. Shake the shoulders here and add a little component of breath and sound. So, <sighs> You can even lift the hips and get a little bit more activity here. <sighs> yeah. All right. From here, we're going to actually come back into a Kapalabhati breath. You can keep the hips lifted. We're going to do one more round here. Kapalabhati breath. This forceful breath out through the nose. Either hips lifted or sinking back. Bring the hands to the low belly, holding that intention of keeping the energy or keeping the awareness in and down. Internal guidance system. Take a nice full breath in. Partial exhale, pump the breath. Keep the breath pumping out through the nose, thinking of this clearing sensation, this full clearing breath, letting go of what you need to through the breath. Ten, nine, eight, keep going, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale the breath all the way out. This time, don't hold the breath out. Inhale. Keep awareness in the pelvis here as you inhale. Now, suspending the breath, draw the navel in, pelvic floor lifts, move the banda. And when you need to, slowly exhale, maybe even make fists of your low belly area between your thighs and your hip joints and fold forward on your exhale. Bringing the forehead, third eye to the earth, taking a couple breaths here. Inhale. 
Inhale as you slowly rise. Bring the hands forward, tabletop. Move intuitively here in tabletop. Maybe some figure eights. Again, maybe some traditional cat cow movements. Moving the energy around through the system. Finding that clearing breath and drawing in what you need from it. Change the direction, find that balance, make it your own. When you're ready, lift up and back, downward facing dog. Lift the right heel up towards the sky and downward facing dog. Lower the left heel down, take a nice full breath in and up. Bend in this knee, maybe open a little bit, gazing under the right armpit. Lift the knee a little higher, one nice more, one full, full breath here. On your next inhale, bring it back to square, draw it up towards the chest, step through, deep lunge. Swivel the back heel down, inhale, warrior two. Nice full breath in as you straighten that front leg. Exhale, sink into the side. Sink, sink, sink into the front leg. Beautiful. Moving dynamically on an inhale, rise up, straighten the front leg. Exhale, gaze shifts forward towards the front toe. Beautiful. That was two. Let's do two more. Cartwheel the arms all the way down. Step forward, forward fold, halfway lift, inhale. Scoop the low belly, exhale, dump the breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Scoop the low belly, dump the breath on the exhale. One more time, inhale, halfway lift. Scoop the low belly, exhale, fold. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Move in and out of down dog and high plank. Maybe even finding a little bit of undulation of the spine, this wave-like ripple as you move. One more, just like that. Landing in a downward facing dog. Lift the left heel up towards the sky. Three legged dog, lower the right heel down. Take a breath here, and then begin to open up to wild dog or wild thing here. We'll lift this knee up, take a nice breath, flare the toes. Exhale, stay. Bring the hips back to square with the mat. Draw the knee up and through, deep lunge. Swivel the back heel down. On an inhale, right up. Or your two. I think I get this mirroring down by now. Inhale as you rise, straighten that front leg. Exhale in full expression of your pose. Inhale as you rise, we'll do a total of four. Exhale, gaze over the front and front toe. Two more. Got one of the hands forward. Step back, downward facing dog. Move through a vinyasa flow of your choice. Shot around the upward facing dog or lower into child's breath. Taking three mindful breaths here. Jump, step, walk to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. 
Exhale, fold. Inhale as you swing the arms out and up. Exhale, hands through front center. Beautiful. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, arms out and up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, arms up and up. This time, interlace the fingers, point your towards the sky, Kali Mudra. Exhale, bow to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, bow to the left. Inhale through center. Cactus the arms. Let that heart come forward. Then let the arms come back behind. Maybe you can interlace the hands. Beautiful. From here, pressing through the feet, bend in the knees, sink into a chair pose. Keeping the shoulders onto the back. Heart is forward, heart is lifted, this extension through the upper body. You can stay here in a chair pose, or maybe you want to fold forward, let the chest rest on the thighs, dump the neck and the head. Again, hands can be drawing towards each other, or even the hands on the low back, elbows drawing in. Three mindful breaths here. Keep the weight in the heels. Forward fold. Shake out the head and neck. Halfway lift, inhale. Scoop the low belly, dump the breath. Two more. Inhale, slowly rise. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, arms float out and up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, arms out and up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Beautiful. We're going to do a little chair flow. So, Utkatasana. Again, continuing these grounding poses, keeping this internal guidance system or the, the goal, my intention, to tune into that internal guidance system, making this practice your own. So make the pose your own. This is your own practice, make the pose your own. All right. So on your inhale, arms float up, sink into your chair, and as you exhale, fold the arms over the thigh. Beautiful. Inhale, arms swing up. Full expression of the pose. Exhale, stay. Wait for the heels, send the hips down. Inhale as you rise. Maybe you can lift the heels up. Exhale, the arms down. Beautiful. Doing that again. Inhale, the arms up. Sink into the pose. The chair pose. Exhale, fold the arms over. Inhale, swing the arms forward and up. Exhale, sink into your chair. Inhale as you rise. Exhale, arms down to the sides or hands your heart center. Beautiful. Inhale, arms up. Sink into your chair. Exhale, fold over the legs, head down. Inhale, swing the arms forward and up. Exhale, sink into your chair. Inhale as you rise. Let's do two more. Arms float up, sink into your chair on an inhale. Exhale, drape over the front leg. Let the breath come all the way out. Don't rush yourself. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, Utkatasana. Inhale as you rise. One more. I bet you feel it. In that body, inhale, arms up, sink, exhale, fold. Swing the arms forward and up. Exhale, Utkatasana. Inhale as you rise. Pause here, close the eyes, feel the sensation, the full body alive, aliveness. Keeping the awareness in and down, 
pelvis, feet. Come to the breath. Breathing mindfully from the toes up to the crown of the head. Full body breath, exhale down from the crown. Take a nice wide-legged stand. Toes pointed forward. Beautiful. On an inhale, come through star pose. As you exhale, right hand to left foot. Embed in this knee if you need to. Inhale as you rise. Switching sides, this right hand comes down, left arm up and over, lateral stretch. Inhale, center. Inhale will always be the star pose. Switch side, left hand, right foot. Inhale as you rise. Left hand slides down to fly, right arm, lateral stretch. Inhale, star. Move with your breath. Exhale as you fold. Inhale up. Lateral stretch, opposite side. Inhales always through star pose. Keep going. Inhale, lateral stretch. You'll get it. Keep going. Beautiful. We started with the right hand to left foot. So as you fold this time, do bend into the left leg. And then maybe you can walk the right hand off to an angle outside the pinky toe a little bit to twist a little bit deeper. Now again, draw the navel in and twist from the midsection. Nice little twist here. Stay for a couple breaths. Inhale as you rise. Exhale, switch sides. We won't do the lateral stretch here. Again, walk this left hand off to the pinky toe, like in a diagonal from the pinky toe. Twisting a little bit deeper here. Three mindful breaths from the midsection. Inhale as you rest. Bring the hands together. Bring them to the forehead, the heart space. Forward fold, wide-legged forward fold. You can walk the hands forward for a nice wide-legged downward facing dog. Send the weight back towards the heels. Send the hips back towards the back of the butt. Back of the room. Drop the head heavy and breathe. Beautiful. Bring the weight to the hands. Heel toe the feet together just a little bit closer, a little bit wider than the distance, and then start to come into a deep squat. Again, blocks, any kind of blanket support system underneath the hips, and then just kind of sway side to side with what's available to you here. Find that tall spine. Breathe from the low belly. Nice full breath in. As you exhale, stay a little bit longer. And then inhale, as you lift your hips up, simultaneously turn the toes forward, forward, forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Scoop the low belly. Exhale, dump the breath. Two more. Press through the feet, inhale, swing the arms forward and up, lift the heels. Exhale, the arms out and down as you roll the heels down. Beautiful. Again, check in, hands at heart center. Close the eyes. 
Check in with the breath, check in with your intention, check in with your community. Moving through a tree pose. You can stay in mountain pose. This might feel really good for you in your practice today. If you're moving through tree pose, move slowly with intention. I'm gonna start with my left foot and I'm just gonna start with a shrub, heel to ankle. Keeping my hands, noticing my hips through the screen here. Instead of bending and compensating this, keeping my hips square, not dropping, right? And really anchoring through the standing leg, maybe finding a little bit of space and freedom, keeping my foot off of my knee, but placing it however I feel is right for me in my practice today, maybe even a half lotus. Finding that dristy, that focus point, and finding my breath. Take two more nice full breaths in and out. And when you're ready, very slowly, intentionally, come back to mountain. Hadasana. Step the feet wide, take the hands to the hips, big circles. Do three to the right. Three to the left. Step the feet back to hip distance apart. Slide the hands down to the knees, little circles of the knees. Three to the right. Three to the left. And slowly rise. Switching sides here. Take your time. Move with intention, move with the breath. Noticing the difference in sides. My right side's a little tighter this evening than my left. And that's okay. Take three breaths here. Whenever you're ready, slowly, intentionally coming back. Um, pose, step the feet wide, hands to the hips, three circles to the right. circles to the left. Bring the feet back to hip distance, hands to the knees, three circles to the right and to the left. And slowly rise. Beautiful. We'll move through a couple sun salutations here before we come down to the mat. Make these your own. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Feet jump or step back up to um, plank pose, belly to the ground. You can move through vinyasa flow here, lifting to baby cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two breaths. Jump up or step to the top. Half a lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Tadasana. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Plank pose. Chaturanga. Any form of your vinyasa. Downward facing dog, two breaths and downward facing dog. Hug the shins in isometrically and the inner thighs rotate back and out. Feet jump up or step to the top, half a lift. Hold forward. Inhale, Tadasana. 
one more. Two breaths in your downward facing dog. After this, inhale back to plank pose. Exhale, lower belly to the ground. Inhale, baby cobra. Strong legs. Press the top of the feet into the mat. Point the toes. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down. Getting a cramp in my toes. <laughs> Inhale as you rise. Exhale, lower down. Turn onto the right cheek here. Walk the left elbow out and bend the elbow so it's like nice 90 degree angle here, pressing through the palm. From here, I'm actually going to demonstrate on my right hand, but keep your left hand out if it's already out. You're gonna switch the gaze so it's away from the bent arm. Use the opposite hand to roll onto your hip. So you're rolling towards the bent elbow. And just stack the legs here. This might be enough for the extension to the right or left side body, whichever arm is bent. Maybe you wanna play around a little bit with this top leg, maybe even bend the knee, bring the foot down, or just reach it back with the straight leg. What feels right for you in your practice here as you open up through the side body? Stay here for a little bit. Experiment with movement or static, but connect your breath, most importantly. Again, if you're still curious what we we're doing, holding that pose for a little longer, elbow is bent, palm pressing into the ground. Stacking the hips, stacking the legs, or experimenting with this top leg. Gaze is away from the bent arm. Couple more breaths here. Straighten the leg, bring it back to step. Roll back to your belly, forehead to the mat. Hands are bent up, or elbows are bent. Hands are placed outside of the chest. Inhale, baby cobra, strong legs. Exhale as you lower. Inhale, less weight in the palms this time. You can even lift the palms up. Let your back do most of the work here. On an inhale, lift up, exhale, lower down. One more time. This time, lift the palms up. Inhale as you rise, maybe sway side to side. Strong back here, strong legs. Place the palms down, lift up a little higher, upward dog, maybe even. Stretch through that tummy area, exhale, lower down. Beautiful. Switching sides, shift the gaze to the opposite side, bend the opposite elbow, place the palm down, 90 degree angle or, angle or half a goal pose, half a cactus, roll onto that side. Just start with stacking the legs, using this opposite arm kind of as a support system here. And then play around with this top leg. Notice the breath. Maybe it shortens as you come into this pose. Maybe you feel a lot of stuck breath or stuck tension in the back body between the shoulder blades. Really find that length and ease of the breath. And if this is too much for you, don't overdo it. 
Don't force yourself into a form. Notice your edge. Notice what lands there. On your idea, slowly stack the legs, straight the legs, straighten the legs, stack them. And roll back onto your belly, forehead to the mat. Bend the arms, bring the palms to the chest or chest um, framing. Inhale, baby cobra, elbows in towards the midsection. Exhale, lower the forehead to the mat. Inhale, this time less weight in the hands, strong legs, maybe you don't lift the palms up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up a little higher, lift the arms, bent elbows and up a little higher and then sway side to side for a couple breaths. Place the palms down, lift a little bit higher, upper dog maybe even. Take a nice breath. Bring the forehead down, lift up and back. Child's pose. Pause here. Take three intentional breaths. When you're ready, come back to your tabletop. You're going to slowly. Transition onto your back. When you arrive, bring your knees bent, feet hip distance apart, arms straight out, straight down towards your heels. Moving through bridge pose here. But for a moment, just notice how this feels, how you feel in this pose. Let yourself breathe fully with ease. You know, just with the arms, inhale, the arms lift up and over the head, stretch long. Exhale, arms float up and down. Just with the arms again this time, inhale, arms float up and over. Exhale, arms up and down. Adding the legs this time, pressing through the feet, the heels. Inhale, arms float up and over. Lift the hips up towards the sky. Exhale, lower down. Seven total. Move with your breath. Last one here for me. Inhale as I rise up. Join me collectively together. Keep the hips lifted, press down through the feet, specifically in the heels. Exhale the arms down to the sides. Keep the hips lifted. Walk the shoulder blades a little bit more under the back. Maybe even bring the palms together if you can, if it's available to you. Lift the hips a little higher here. Find the breath. Be 
even through the sensations, even through any emotional or physical edge points here, besides pushing pain or forcing anything here, just feel the body alive with sensation. Notice the temperature, notice where the breath is. Maybe lift a little higher, maybe even come to the toes, lift the heels off the mat. 10 more seconds. As you exhale, slowly lower the hips down. Walk the feet wider than the hip distance. Bring the arms out to the side and start to just windshield wiper the knees side to side. Inhale the knees straight up through center. Exhale, drop from side to side. You can even rock the head side to side, opposite of the knees. may even want to reach the arms out to a V. So feel a little bit more sensation. Beautiful, let both knees land on the left side body this time. Maybe you can cross this bottom or the ankle that's in front on top of the top leg so if you're going by hips one hip is on the bottom one hip is on top cross the ankle over that thigh it deepens the twist or deepens the sensation a little bit here so it kind of comes into a figure four if you lift and that's exactly where we're going lifting up coming to that figure four or supine pigeon you can keep your legs, your foot, your bottom foot on the mat, or interlace the fingers behind that bottom leg and draw the hips up towards the chest. Keep reaching the six bones, so the bottom of the pelvis, toward the bottom of the mat. Keep reaching the sit bones, sit bones down or back and down. So it kind of lengthens the spine here oh, with the awareness of it. And it creates a little bit of a, um, a scoop in the low back, like a little bit of space between the lumbar and the mat. Now alternate that with pressing the low back into the mat. Notice what feels right for you in this form. Take a nice full breath in and out. Come into waterfall here for one minute. You can bring the hands under the low back, you can bring a blanket here, or just keep the extension from the hip to the heel up towards the sky, clear the toes. Notice sensations here for 20 more seconds. Beautiful. Very slowly start to bend the knees, drop the heels very slowly to the seat. Keep the knees lifted. Keep the legs lifted. Pause here. And then very slowly bring both feet to the mat and pause. Taking that nice full body breath.
Working our way a little bit backwards this time. Cross the right ankle or the opposite ankle over for figure four. And you can stay here, kind of guiding the thighs away from the body or interlace the hands behind that bottom leg, drawing the hips up towards the chest. And play around that low back. And the sits bones reaching back and down, suppressing the low back into the mat. More nice full breath here. And when you're ready, untwist, bring the feet down wider than hip distance and come back to this windshield wiper action. Arms up to a V or out to the side, swaying, swiveling. Let the head kind of be involved. The gaze shifts opposite of the knees. Take this moment to do any final movements for your practice, making this your own as you go. Know what feels right for you to finalize the asana of this practice. And if you feel ready and you have a blanket towel or any kind of support system for a heart opener or chest opener or continuing these extensions through the chest. I'm using this blanket, this um, Mexican style blanket. And um, I'm always really bad at explaining the rules. I gotta get better at that, but I'm rolling it to a level where I can recognize my extension is necessary. So I'm not rolling this whole entire blanket, but I'm trying to find less wrinkles, most importantly. So kind of like flattening it out as much as possible so that when I'm lying down, I don't feel where the bulge is in the blanket. And then I'm wherever I think that I could go, I'm backing off a little bit. So if I think I can go this high, I'm gonna roll it back a little that I'm not doing, I'm not over efforting in this, some say most important pose in Shavasana. And if you don't wanna do this, of course, honor your body where you're at. This is just a suggestion as we're coming into this spring season, and just needing a little bit more extension or more heart opening expressions of ourselves. So this is a suggestion, an invitation, but whatever feels right for you, come into your final pose of rest, your corpse pose. And this, if you are following my invitation here, will go right where, um, if you wear a bra, the bra line is, or right below the shoulder blades. Your arms come out, you'll feel that nice spot. It'll feel right for you. You will just trust yourself, you'll know. And make adjustments. Maybe the roll is too high. If it's a towel or a blanket, make those adjustments. Just enough to really feel this ease of extension through the chest. Arms can come out to a T, they can be bent. Maybe you need a little support under the neck. Maybe you don't find what feels right for you. Again, I just can't say that enough. Make it your own. And then when we arrive here, we're gonna make a little bit of sound to really settle it. And uh, again, in my practice, I like to kind of send you off in this pose of rest. So if you are setting yourself up for the remainder of the day, how lucky are you?
I will close out, but feel free to stay in your pose of rest for as long as you need to. But let's make a little bit of sound. So with the awareness from the feet up to the hips, we're gonna make this sound, ah, uh, ah, uh, on our exhale. And we'll do it collectively. So imagining we're all together, harmoniously making the sound of ah, uh, the first part of om, A-U-M, so ah. Uh. With awareness from the hips to the feet, take a nice full breath in. Ah. Feeling the resonance of the sound in the body and out of the body, awareness from the hips up. To the chest, the sound, ooh, you, ooh, nice full breath in. sound and vibration, awareness from the chest to the top of the head, the crown of the body, the sound mm, M, mm, like a bumblebee, nice full breath in. Mm. Full body breath, full body sound, adding all components together, feeling the body alive with sensation. Take a next full breath in. Ah, ooh, mm. Drop your body into a full expression of rest. Like rain into the ocean, find yourself expansive, heavy. Nowhere to go, nothing to do, just be. Take what you need, give what you can. With each inhale and each exhale, mm -hmm. 
move slowly with intention for the remainder of your practice, of your day, of your weekend. Remember not only your intention, but also the intention for the collective. Thank you for joining me this evening. May you be healthy, may you be well. Namaste. Thanks, y'all. Have a good weekend.